You know, it's what we do. Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, whatever time of day you're listening to this, uh, I am John here with Hen, and welcome to another episode of the It's What We Do pod. Take it away, Hen. Hi, I'm Hen. Like Hello. how you said? Yeah. Yes. And on this fine episode, we'll be covering the movie, the one, the only, the recently released Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Media, a sequel to WrestleMania happening in the quantum realm and in this movie we have the wwe shrinking down to a very small ring in the quantum realm realm yeah right yeah that's what happened right i watched the right movie right yeah that's that's the correct one um i believe we got to see uh dave batista yes um hit the people's up no i'm playing (laughs) not the people's up the uh batista bomb on the the mitochondria which is the powerhouse of the cell oh hell no that you're giving me flashbacks to your early biology that I never paid attention to in high school. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Just copy out the prison right next to you. Yeah, no, fuck no. Did did we have the same teacher in uh, Miss uh, Lee or something? No. Okay. Get back to the movie, though. I think I might have watched the wrong movie, but <laughs> we have Scotty Langs, right? Scotty Langs? Yeah. The rest of the Ant fam, if you will. We have yeah. uh, Hope. H- Hope. Uh, Hank. And then we have Hanky Janet. Pimps. Hanky Pimps. Hank, Hank, Hong Kong. And then Janet Van Dyne, or Vagina. <laughs> is it Van Dyne? Where does that name come from? Uh, no, Pam, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's Darren's last name. Darren? Isn't it? Isn't it? I don't fucking remember. I don't know. Something. Okay, then we have that. Then we also have the new edition of Cassie Lang. Cassie Lang's. Shout out Cassie Lang. And then now they're, they accidentally get sucked into the quantum realm. And then now they have to, you know kill or fight off a dictator and somehow get back to their own time or own universe if you will all before the pizza gets home yes so they got to make it in 30 minutes or less yeah so it sounds like it was actually a ripoff of sort of a sword art online yeah yeah essentially yes yeah pretty much and a ripoff of honey i shrunk the kids i think i might have seen that but it's been like 10 years well the movie says it all honey i shrunk the kids yeah it's in the title yeah. What's the sequel? The sequel was called like Honey, I Shrunk Us or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Classic. classic. Honey, honey, I Shrunk My Dick. Damn. Fuck. Before we ever got married. <laughs> and then she hit you with, it was like, it was you can't shrink something that's already too small and microscopic. Damn. Damn. She looks at him and it's like, I don't see a difference. Huh. Damn. How did they even have kids? I mean, about accidents happen, you know. Yeah, accidents happen. Yeah. No, um, man. <clears throat> and so... Yeah, so they end up becoming down here, kind of like a misadventure kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, which uh, most heroes in the MCU tend to get into, you know, Iron Man, um, Ult- be- with Ultron, and then Captain America, uh, Thor. And then remember, like uh, Captain, no, Iron Man is the cause of most problems in the MCU. He really is. Yeah, and then with this, it's like if they would have never got sucked in, or they were causing their own problems. Even like you know how they sound, sh- shot down the beam, right? Uh, it was what's it, Modok, whatever Darren who found it, and then who sent Darren to the quantum realm? Uh, Ant Man. See, so he's the cause of his own Ant Man too. Yeah, Ant Man one. No, he's the second Ant Man. Oh fuck. Okay, I thought you meant the movie. No. <laughs> yeah, and then it was like he's the cause of his own misadventures now. Yeah, essentially. It's, yeah, and then the whole fall of the get away from the board, get away from the board, damn, get away from the teleprompter, damn it. Continue. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, they, yeah. So they're the cause of most of their problems with all that stuff, and yeah. So they end up having to, you know, um, they're gonna face uh, the conqueror, Kang the conqueror. Shout out Kang. Who, uh, you know, he does uh, things that, uh, you know, he conquers things. So he conquered the quantum realm, obviously. And then, yeah. So uh, now they have to face uh, Kang, who is the conqueror, and you know, he just does, um, you know, he casually conquers things you know every now and then you know when he when he pleases yeah well honestly too it's like what he has only well he conquered multiple timelines and then the quantum realm i was like come on up your game i mean yeah when i see that on his resume i'm not really impressed yeah and then this is also we have the the variant of kings whatever and he's the exiled one yeah exiled one shout out being exiled it happens it happens to all of us happens happens to to the the best best of us you bastard (laughs) 
I was gonna say that. <laughs> That's why I said it though, because it clicked in my head at the same moment too. Um, Jinx, you owe me a dick. And then, Damn, that's crazy. and then he's exiled, and then, you know, he wants to go back. I like this chair. It looked pretty cute. And then it's connected to his mind and his mm-hmm. suit or whatever. Oh, man. His suit was so clean. And now uh, he goes through a similar thing. I think Scott Lang and everyone goes through in the MCU now. Why the fuck do they keep on taking off their helmet? Uh, to show their face. I mean, they're paying for the actor. Yeah, but, but then it's like, keep it on. Like, you know, Scott, every two seconds he takes off his helmet. Mm-hmm. And then so does he. Like and like it's his face, even though it's covered in that one thingy, but it's like it's every two seconds he always takes it off. He never keeps yeah. it off twenty four. That's true. And it's like I'd rather see that though than his face. Not saying he's ugly. I love him. I love him. But it's like it's it completes the look, you know? It does. Cause uh I think that's the very It's like iconic. a cowboy without his hat. It's like the iconic look of uh and, and then even his uh his army has the same kind of look with the with the blue mask and everything. Mm-hmm. Um <clears throat> So, yeah, uh, they end up, you know, obviously when there's some kind of, like, dictator or conquered, like, shit, there's always going to be, like, some kind of rebellion, right? Some freedom fighters. Yeah, yeah. You always got to sw- stomp them out all the time. Exactly. And um, they end up joining the freedom fighters, um, uh, Scott and Cassie, to, you know, help them yeah. um, defeat the conqueror. And, and uh, well, spoiler alert, they do defeat the conqueror. Yeah, yeah but it wasn't, you know, thanks for the freedom fighters. It just had to be the fucking ends. If it was just the freedom fighters, it would have all fucking died. Yeah, they would have. They really would have. And but, I just uh, wonder how actually OP the ants are, because I think the ants were the one that actually fucked up Kang to where, like, I guess it fucked up his suit to where he just had to, like, duke it out kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. And um, what was it? I thought the ants were pretty cool, like how they shrunk down, and they're, like, there for thousands of years, and they get super smart. Honestly, when I saw that the ant, the ants also got really tiny and kind of got sucked in with them, I felt like at one point we were going to see them again. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And then they it's got like thrown you kinda, off. Yeah, you kind of you don't really just throw that detail in there and then just uh, just get rid of it, really. Yeah. Uh, one thing I didn't like was, uh, you know how like Janet's just so secretive about what the fuck happened? Mm-hmm. And I was like, just tell them, Mario, you're in the quantum realm. This is like the time to t- start talking about it. And it's like, why hold back right now? It was no, annoying. exactly. Like, what are you scared of? Like what's like what's so crazy that you guys are in the quantum realm right now? Like what's so crazy? Because mm-hmm. I thought there was nothing there. Yeah, there yeah. was nothing there. That's she said there was nothing there. It. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like even in the other ones, it's like I guess there's pocket realms or whatever bullshit. But it's like before. Okay, like the first Ant Man when they went to the quantum realm, he was just kind of like in a void kind of thing. Yeah. And then at the end of the second one, where he was stuck there for five hours but it turned out five years or whatever mm-hmm. and then it was just like the same kind of thing where he's just kind of there it wasn't like a war a world kind of thing where there's like things and shit like that exactly and um yeah so that i thought that was interesting i guess there's different parts of the current realm and like different levels but then it's still like yeah and like you know how like okay because it's like you know how you shrink down right boom boom yeah. boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. shrink down right is the quantum realm, you know, it's a microverse or whatever, is the quantum realm the same thing everywhere? Like, if I shrink down right here, right, is it going to be the same quantum realm if I shrink down over there? I think so, yes. Yeah, and I think that's just so weird. Well, it's because they said that's outside the realm of time and space. Yeah, so you get so small, you just get sucked into something else? Yeah, essentially, yes. I mean, I guess you could even argue the point that... uh Maybe he who remains in Loki and them were in the quantum realm because that's outside of time yeah, and space. I've never too. heard that too. But then, oh my god, that's so like. I think a big problem of why this movie got so bad ratings and shit was just like everyone has like so like crazy expectations on what this story was gonna be, mm-hmm. and it turns out not to be that. But I think that's nothing wrong. Then it had a story, family, little fun misadventures, and it wasn't never gonna be that fucking like. Oh my fucking god! We broke the fucking timeline, and all all this crazy shit's gonna fucking happen, right? Mm-hmm. It it wasn't that, and I don't think it had the ever had that attention. It would just introduce a character as a one off kind of thing, yeah. As how they would introduce any other fucking villain type shit, you know? Exactly. And uh, Ant Man is not necessarily like I love Ant Man, but he is definitely not up there with the strongest Avengers. And uh, the fact that you know Ant Man and his team were able to defeat you know Kang in that moment. Um, you know, Kang, obviously this Kang is a bum and uh, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, just the fact that that happened should tell you enough that 
this is not the Kang we're worried about right now. Or maybe we do end up down the line worrying about him. But there is an entire dynasty. If you watch the movie and you, you obviously yeah. you do watch the end credits, right? Everyone. You yeah. have to stay for the end credits. I hate, I hate waiting for this shit. Most of the time I just skip it. But I'm sorry. Continue. Yeah, but uh, yeah, there's a whole Kang dynasty. They exiled him for a reason. And if they were able to exile him, that mean must mean there is, there are stronger and other variants of Kang. Even the, like the three the three we saw, yeah, yeah. obviously they they got to be some of the strongest Kangs if they're up there, right? Yeah. Or like uh, one thing I thought about was uh, what's that shit called? It's like you know how he talks about that shit about the circle. Like I can see how it begins, I can see how it ends, kind of thing. Yeah, I can see that idea. Maybe that makes sense. The unique Bell Kang or whatever, right? But it's like. With the idea of just having multiple Kangs, and it's just like it's like one of those villains where it's just like you kill one off, and then boom, another one takes his place, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's like you know the it's like Hydra, where you cut the head off, whatever, fucking two hits pop up, kind of thing. I picture that, and it's like it doesn't matter at this right now, you know. We don't have we we don't have all the pieces, and it doesn't matter right now because it's mm-hmm. like who knows? Maybe he comes back, maybe he fucking doesn't, and then we have the coup, or whatever the fucking whatever. Egypt Emperor. Maybe he's a big bad. Who the fuck cares right now, you know? Yeah. And this movie by itself, I really liked this character. And it was cute and shit. And, like, he was menacing as fuck, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, we saw uh, Jonathan Majors. Shout out Jonathan Majors. Beautiful performances so far. I mean, and, and Loki, the show, if you haven't seen it, you need to. Um, He plays He Who Remains, who is another variant of Shout King. out He Who Remains. He is the last king. Obviously, his namesake, He Who Remains, after everything is said and done. And uh, that... Kang was more like laid back, kind of like more comedic a little bit. You could see it. Mm-hmm. And Energetic then, and shit. Yeah, as opposed to this Kang. It was just pure evil and he's just absolutely mm-hmm. a menace. I think it's like that thing where it's just like I'm so like up there and like like I see a lot of things as time and shit. Like it it doesn't matter. Like you're just an ant, literally just an ant to me. Like yeah. it's whatever. I killed hundreds of thousands. It's just how life goes for me. Oh yeah, like when he, when he said he's like, oh you're an Avenger. Like yeah. which one are you? Like are you one with the are ha- the one with the hammer? But then the uh, later on though, like I, I saw a video they were talking about it. Then he called him Ant Man. Yeah, he so he was he, just messing with them. Yeah, so he knew he was, but then he was like to me, he's just like I don't give a fuck kind of yeah. thing. And I think he was great and. Oh my god, I'm trying to think of like, and then like at the end thing with him with the emperor, you know, the other kings and shit. I thought that was pretty cool, and it's like setting up the things and shit. I just think it's we don't have to think so hard about it, you know, for mm-hmm. right now because it's not that important. It's really not. It was more of a, I guess you could say, a filler movie because when it was all said and done and they came back, yeah. But what? I think like all of them are supposed to be fillers for the most part. I guess so, right? Because I it's mean, like we only have a couple that are like, because it's like okay, like filler to what, right? Like let's say like Endgame or like Infinity War, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Those are like huge movies, and then like the movies before it, they kind of set it up just a little bit where they do like little Easter eggs or like little like breadcrumbs to it, but it's not like it was direct, like something's coming kind of shit. And even though with this one, it's kind of like leaning more towards that because it's saying like multiverse is slowly breaking but it's not like it's like we should enjoy the journey and not just like the end of it you know yeah uh, yeah it, pretty much and and like how we, i feel like that also ties into the very high expectations that people come into watching yeah. the movies if you're watching or listening to this um Shout you probably listeners. you probably know already that the critics and a bunch of reviews out there that have been really ragging on this movie um and man uh and wasp quantumania um they all the reviews that i've seen that are bad people they always they always start off i came into this with high expectations like i really had high expectations for this that's where you fuck up really like yeah. why do you have such high expectations for uh, a bunch of these mcu movies because we know most of them are at best you know decent Good. yeah decent you know yeah, yeah. not all of them are going to be like straight bangers um and you know to just expect that it's just kind of crazy especially when it's ant-man and not like <laughs> it not like yeah. the thor movie I, I i like i said i oh, love i love ant-man oh. I, the one with the hammer oh yeah uh, my oh, fuck. <laughs> so that's not the one we just got done watching no i love ant-man but he's definitely not like one of the strongest like i, I think i said that earlier and so yeah i feel like that's the issue with it and it's definitely not that then, uh, it's def- definitely it definitely does not deserve those horrible ratings because it is not worse than like 
Thor the Dark World, for I example. I think, like, you know, like, Endgame and uh, Infinity War just kind of fucked up the MCU on expectations. Because now they're all expecting, like, crazy levels of, like, MCU madness all the time now. From every project since then has been, like, a, the expectations. And it's not that. It's, like, there has been good, great movies in the MCU before, but, like, certain things. But most of them weren't like that. They were just good, you know? And then it's, like, as soon as, like, I feel like this last phase and the TV shows... They have getting so much fucking hate, like nonstop. Like let's say with the multiverse of madness, hmm. everyone was like, "Oh yeah, fuck yeah!" Like this shit, like the expectations, like how you're saying, this shit is gonna go off the wall. It's like the multiverse is broken. Everything's going to work. <laughs> and it's like, but it was it just wasn't. a continuation of WandaVision. Yeah, <laughs> and just like small shit. And then what was the other movies like? Uh, no way home. Yeah, I think. But then that was just all fanfare kind of thing. Well, I mean, I feel like that's what all 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 that it is re- like nowadays, because you know, Infinity War, um, and all these. It's like we're so used to. I guess I guess the audience is so spoiled now to seeing all these big actors teaming up, yeah, all yeah. these big 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 names teaming up, and uh, that's just what they want. Like they want the next Avengers, the Fantastic Four, yeah. the X Men, um, which on. I mean, it's part of the MCU, so it's fair, but it's like. Always expecting that is just too yeah. much. It's just like the little smaller story. Or like, you know how like every project, they're like, who are they going to have to cameo? And it's always like them. Yeah, exactly. And then it's like more like the one-off projects like this, right? Even though it has its ties, but then it's just like, it's it's, it's a story, right? Mm-hmm. And then like one thing, though, I think it actually helped a lot with getting pe- more people to see it. Because like, let's say Ant-Man and the Wasp, right? Yeah. A lot of people haven't fucking seen that movie, right? Mm-hmm. Or the first Ant-Man. A lot of people haven't fucking seen those movies. And then if you throw on Kang though, because everyone everyone's getting their dick uh, hard over the and everything, seeing to see Jonathan Majors, right? So now that got everyone in the theaters, and that made it that big MCU premiere. You know, like everyone's mm-hmm. like, "Oh shit, what the fuck's gonna happen?" And I was like, "Psycho, it's nothing happens." <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. It was actually probably actually it was probably good marketing, just you know, to like p- like make him in it. <laughs> Probably, because when I was going into it, I was like, all right, I just gonna, I'm just going to have to see for myself like what I think and, yeah. and uh, what's going to happen. Because I, I definitely didn't have uh, – I, I try not to have high expectations anymore when it yeah, comes to – Yeah, shout out like, high expectations. When it comes to like here, superhero movies, because that's kind of like the uh, the basis nowadays. It's like superhero movie, superhero movie. It's yeah. like the casuals and the cinephiles. They're all going to watch these stuff, right? Yeah. And like – Fuck, that's one thing I just, like, you know, like, obviously, like, us, right? We cover everything. We try to cover everything. Yeah. And then, you know what happens to end up being a lot of things we cover, though? A lot of fucking superhero movies, right? That's just because it's what... It's, yeah, it's, that, that's just the fucking market. So yeah, that's why that's I like it, it whenever we don't have a super... Like, last week, right? And, like, it sucked, though, because it the Super Bowl just happened, so we had so many fucking trailers. Yeah. So we had to talk about it, you yeah. know? And, like, don't get me wrong, I love talking about it, but it's just, like, to a point where it's just, like, oh, like diversify, but then it's, like, it floods the market right now. It, it That's, yeah, that's a staple yeah. right now. I think also, like, this one metaphor, I think, about the MCU, it's, like, the MCU, it's, like, fucking, like, pizza, right? From different spots, right? They all have, like, you know how pizza's made, right? The bread, whatever else is on, the, <laughs> on a pizza, right? Yeah. Well, and then it's just, like, Different places, right? That's why I feel like each movie is just a different spot. Like Little Caesars, Domino's, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, other places, that local place, the Chicago one that we always get all the time. Yeah, or like the other Chicago. things. Yeah, you don't know us. You know where we fly from. And it's like all different types. But then it's like at the end of the day, right? They might vary. In, you know, like which one's your favorite, which one's not. But at the end of the day, though, it's all pizza. You exactly. all, you're not going to be like, you're not going to take a bite out of it. you be like, huh. This changed the game. It's all pizza. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. That's the way I think of the MCU. Or like, Essentially, yes. Or like a chocolate chip cookie, right? It's mm-hmm. like you can get it from different places, but it's all fucking just chocolate chip. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Fucking. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I think it's just so loaded, This like these kind of movies now. Like this one, like we have barely been talking about the actual movie movie and more about like everything around it and shit, you know? Yeah, but uh, ov- overall, I did enjoy this yeah. movie. I like um, the family aspect because we yeah. got the Ant Fam, and I feel like they're like a great family dynamic and shit. Even though Janet's fucked with annoying in this movie, mm-hmm. but uh, it was also you know fun. The co- the comedy was there. You know, uh, Scott Lang's Ant Man. Shout out, Scott. Very a uh, very comedic, and I love the part where 
um, at the end, they realized that he was Ant Man, mm -hmm. so they made him pay for his coffee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love the scene whenever all the Ant Mans they fucking did that thing in the uh, when they were in the storm, mm -hmm. and then they brought him up. I was like, this is fucking. It looked fucking cool as fuck. Well, yeah, it's because they they. He and said, I was like, the CGI in this scene, the big it's fuck terrible. Time. The CGI is horrible. No. <laughs> And, I oh, thought that, man. and then they had the fucking Bass and Robbins ones there too. Yeah, <laughs> just just for no reason. <laughs> the probability storm. But, um, yeah, I really did enjoy this movie. Kang was great. Uh, Ant Man and the Ant Fam were all great, and the little uh, side characters were funny. You know, like the whole guy, the broccoli guy. So, no, the broccoli was creepy. You saw in his in his thing, he had yeah, multiple he had eyes. Multiple that made me uncomfortable. And then uh, also the it's uh, that fear of holes. Mm -hmm. the tri triple phobia or whatever yeah, yeah. i was gonna say this other drug well never mind um but uh yeah what would you rate this on our rating scale uh what's above mid probably should watch is it yeah probably should watch yeah. probably should watch and there then right go. on top of that it's great right yeah okay so um if you're new here we uh the way we have our rating scale, we have the it's what we do pod certified uh no no not certified we have the it's what we do pod uh, trademarked uh, trademark <laughs> rating scale right so essentially okay from uh from bottom to top let's go all right okay so dog water dog water just which means just you know absolute garbage just yeah, yeah. don't even bother and we have meh, meh. which is you know uh, eh. it is what it is kind yeah. of shit right yeah and then mid which is average you know mid yeah. so it's mid is really misconstrued nowadays yeah. people think it's the just language. like less than average i guess I guess that's the kind of vocabulary we have today. But no, mid means middle. Middle and of the middle road. means average. Yeah. It's just, just yeah, it's it's, it's right smack dab in the middle. Yeah. It, whatever, right? Top of that, probably should watch. Probably should watch. And then on top of that, we have great. Great. And then on top of that, we have. Banger. Banger. And then this is like our tip at the top of the top. Peak. Just peak. Just. just oh, well, I guess you have two. We have certified banger. And then we have Cinema Sticks. Yeah, Cinema Sticks, which is, is like um, kind of like a play on like of the you know the cinnamon the the cinnamon breadsticks that you can get at like a pizza place or something, or yeah, the, the breadsticks. Oh yeah, breadsticks. Yeah, remember the best breadsticks in the world. Okay, yeah, well, it's like an inside joke where we had like the best breadsticks in the world, and then like so kind of goes with the cinema. Uh, yeah, yeah, the best, I mean, the best stuff. I mean, yeah. you, could, you could get it. Yeah. This is cinema. And then we understand now, looking at it, we actually have a lot of things on top. But then also, we we make things up at the bottom. Like they'll yeah. be certified dog water. Well, I mean, cinema sticks is uh, reserved for the best of the best. Yeah, yeah. And so, I'm sorry, where did you put this at again on your on your rating? Probably should watch. Probably should watch. Yeah, it, it was. It was a movie, and it was fun. It like, was an MCU movie. If you like MCU movies, you'll like this one. Yeah, and if you come up with the, all these fucking high hopes and shit, and it's like, go fuck yourself. Then you set yourself up for failure. Yeah, and just, that's an L on your part. Yeah, it's like it's. I hope your wife cheats on you. Like that's how. It's not the Godfather two. Stop thinking it's gonna be that good. What's up with you and the Godfather lately? I love the Godfather. Uh, you know the one dude we always watch that has the dog, right? Yeah, he has a he has the dog father where he has a dog. On the Godfather, like you know, the silhouette. <laughs> it looks fucking funny. And then the dogs That's are like, great. "Hey, hey, hey I'm, I'm not getting paid for this. Don't buy this shirt." That's you great. know, and they're like, yeah. "Don't buy this shirt." Like, you know, that little voice. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a uh, screen rant. Uh, I think. I, th I was gonna say found flicks. So That's not the same thing. Yeah, screen rant. Yeah, like no, found with the video just, store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Screen rant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. too many now. There's a lot, and, and like, we need to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One day, one day. Oh my goodness. Yes, and then, yeah, it was a movie, definitely, right? It was definitely a movie. Uh, and, okay. And uh, I think that pretty much covers uh, yeah, uh, Kang now, Dynasty 1. And now, we've been, no, talking a, we've been talking a lot about this fucking MCU, if you will. Now, John, have you seen the new photo for La Joker and La Lady Gaga having like a little kiss or whatever, Ren? A little smoochy smooch. It happens, it happens. It does In happen. the musical. Yeah, um, the new uh, Joker 2. They both look creepy in that. And I was like, wow, they made Lady Gaga look creepy like that. Isn't she supposed to be like a doctor, though? Uh, Psychiatrist? Yeah, yeah. She's supposed to be like super smart. Yeah, yeah, she is. And then she just accidentally falls in love with her patient, La She's Joker. crazy in love. Crazy in love. I can't, I'm trying to think of a song. I don't even think that's a song. Uh, no, it is. Crazy in love, uh, One Direction. Oh. <laughs> don't fucking play me. <laughs> just talk for a second. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, so uh, 
if you if you guys didn't know, a little fun fact, a little, little trivia here, a little it's will be trivia, all right? Um, Hen here is a very, very big One Direction fan, and he has been since middle school, high school? Uh, I wouldn't say middle school. Middle school. Okay. I Unironically, think, just so you know. Yeah, like, it was something where, like, at the beginning, I had to hide it, and... Uh, just music, man. Can't okay, what well, actually, uh, I think it was Crazy in Love. I don't think it was the name of the song, but I searched uh, uh, Crazy in Love, One Direction, and it, there's a song where it has the lyrics in it. Oh, it's a lyric. Uh, okay. Better than uh, better than words. Okay. And then, um, oh, this is the other song I really love from One Direction, Truly Manly Theme. I'm truly mad. I can't say. But yeah, it's, it's a fucking banker, though. I love One Direction. I remember, like, and, like, people would ask me, like, thinking that I was trying to be funny about it, right? And, like, they were like, oh, they think I'm trying to be funny. And I was like, no, I'm actually, like, seriously. Like, a dude asked me, because he was doing that gimmick kind of thing. He mm-hmm. had a One Direction shirt, but it was a joke. And I was like, no, I'm actually, like, a really big fan of them. And then he was like, he tried to quiz me on him. He was like, songs. And I was like, I knew every song. Because I was like, <laughs> you know, it was back in the day where you just had the computer. Yeah. And you go on YouTube and you look up the lyrics. Well, I would stare at the lyrics and learn all the lyrics from all their songs. And so, valid. like, I still, I still have them valid. in my head. I still have them in my head. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, what's that one song? Uh, um, uh, oh my life, I keep, or something like that, right? I story keep, of my is that life. A story of my I'll life. Take yeah, that's a good one. I like spend that. Spend all night to take it home in time. It's frozen. Frozen. That's a, that's a broken. Uh, frozen. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah. That, I, you know what? Yeah, I mean, no, there's, this, that. there's a lot of fucking like, bangers. Like, yeah. like it's just like, don't get me wrong. Like, there's sort of like so many great songs. Like, probably my favorite album is Take Take uh, Take Me Home or Take You Take Me Home. And it's like, it's it's peak music. And it's like, yeah, like, even like if I listen to One Direction now, like, you can play like the first like three or four seconds of a song that I haven't heard in like fucking years, right? Yeah. I can remember the song lyric by lyric, word by word and shit. Yeah. Uh, Shout out One Direction. That one's a really good one and uh yeah no yeah no seriously he he really did enjoy them and he still does enjoy them and so much so that uh we ran we both ran cross country and track so not cross country and uh in uni and uh we we uh he would listen to them while running no nah, it was motivation and shit yeah but like what? them taylor swift and then Sheeran. yeah and then like even like you know how this even was like i guess like the way i always explained it was like i had like my music taste, which it, and I say to this day, it's I have the music taste of like a sixteen year old girl kind of thing. <laughs> and like people ask me now, I was like, "Oh, do you listen to rap?" I was like, "I mean, I guess," but like I just shut it down really quickly. I was like, "I listen to One Direction, un ironically, and like Taylor Swift, what? I'm like fucking the one, the last album. No, it wasn't the last album. It was uh, she just released her own music. No, it's not she? that one. It's some other one where it's like the autumn one. Remember we talked about that one song that you liked off that album? Um, it the album cover is like her like wearing like a red hat or something, right? No, it's like a fa- flannel. Oh, like a flannel. Okay, there. You go. Yeah, that one. That one. Yeah, that album. Fucking, it spoke to my core. That album, and it was amazing. Oh, okay, but do you listen, to Lady Gaga? Uh, Lady Gaga? Mm, I don't. Not really. I mean, honestly, I thought she was older now, but I didn't realize how young she was when she put out like. Her staple songs, you know, like like Poker Face and, Bad and uh, yeah, all that Alejandro, stuff. Alejandro, or is it like, does, does she have a song that goes like that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, don't know. yeah, now she's uh, yeah, a big big time actor now. Now she's a DC uh, DC actress. Yeah, yeah, and then playing Harley like Quinn, Harlan Quinn, whatever. If I got only know her real name, Harlot, because she's a Harlot. Yeah, no, I'm joking. She's not. And then I think the Harlot Quinn. It's like a like clown or something. I don't fucking know. And then I think, it's, fuck, what was I going with this? Another Harley Quinn in the DCE. Well, this, she's, this is Elseworld now or whatever, yeah. right? Cool, I guess, right? I'm I'm more excited for this movie than anything than the first one. The first one, like people say, it's like you know top cinema. You know, really? I thought it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people think that. It's Who like says that everyone. I thought people didn't like it. People love that movie. It was just a different take on Joker. Okay, off the top of your head, how much money do you think the first Joker made? Seven hundred million billion. Uh, okay, well, it made over a bill. What was the budget? Like twenty. Twenty mil. Yeah. Oh, that's a good profit. 
Yeah, yeah. And then, like, everyone was in love with that movie. They said, like, it was, like, peak cinema and shit. Yeah, like, I thought it was okay. I didn't really care for it much, that much. You know, and it's just, like, I remember I said it. I was like, I mean, yeah, it was, uh, I think it's, like, one of those movies where, like, cinema bros be like, this is cinema. You know you know what I mean? It's, like, one of those kind of movies. It's not The Godfather. No, they would be like, this is our Godfather. <laughs> it was, like, that kind of movie. And, like, I thought it was okay, but I remember walking out. I, I took my little brother, Junior, with me. And I remember walking out. I was like, I mean, it was good, but I was like, I'll probably never watch this fucking movie again. It has no rewatchability. Does it? I you don't, don't think, think so. so. I don't think so. I haven't rewatched it, so I wouldn't know. But like, that's exactly what I'm saying. You're not gonna rewatch it because yeah. you don't think it's worth it. Yeah, but that's then not, maybe it's not. It's not super bad where you can watch it like twice a twice a week. It's not Twenty One Jump Street where you can watch it like every day. It's not. How many times have you seen Twenty One Jump Street? Too many times. Why? It's funny. Why? Super bad too. Super bad's funny. You're you're like one of those people. It's like, man, this is this was a true era and time of true comedy. I never said that. I'm saying what you're. I'm saying what I just you're thinking. like those. I just like those movies. This this is peak peak filmmaking. This is back like, in the day when people were so sensitive, where they can make jokes, and shit. It's like uh, even with shows like Malcolm in the Middle, everybody hates Chris. Um, How I Met Your Mother, uh, the seventy show, uh, The Office. I've watched like. Too many times, too too many times. What about new? What about new stuff? Like New Girl. Uh, oh, watch that. Well, like, New Girl is actually pretty old. It's from like early two thousands. Oh, is it? I don't know that. Newer stuff, newer sitcoms and stuff. Uh, I heard that Elementary oh, School was pretty good. The one that has the guy from Everybody Hates Chris. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard that one's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And then um, I really like that one that had uh, Joey from Friends. I don't know. Um, man with the plant. No, it's not man with the plant. You know which one I'm talking about. We talked about it before. That one. That one show. Uh, Shit's Creek. I heard that one's good. That one's pretty good. I do like that one. I got recommended that a couple times, and I was just like, ah, it's too many shows. Too many shows. It is watch. a lot of shows. That one's all right. I I personally kind of faded away from like sitcoms, like on TV, because it's like you know it's a different kind of thing, you know. Oh, I just like my my go tos. My go to sitcom. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like it's like comfort food at this point, right? Yeah, pretty much. Stupid cat. But uh okay. And then also too, speaking of more garbage things that we have to talk about, no I'm kidding. We have the Marvels, the first purse poster. We have Photon. 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 Neutron. What's it, what what does it call? Electron. Fuck you. Impulse. Impulse. It's not not fucking impulse. Nah. Well, she's not Photon. She's Captain Marvel. Isn't she Photon? They're both Cap. That's Captain Marvel. But then I'm saying like the other name for her. Hmm. Whatever. Then we have the other one, uh, the other Captain Marvel. Then uh, Brie Larson, and then we have Miss Marvel, the first poster. And yeah, it's a poster. <sighs> it comes out in November. <laughs> it comes out November tenth later this year. I think it's the next movie that we're gonna have in the MCU. Mm. Can't remember the timeline. There's a lot of fucking movies coming around. Nah, I don't think so. I think we're gonna get another one before that. Oh, okay. Well, we had that one coming out later this year or whatever. So it's already done wrapping and stuff like that. I'm actually pretty excited. And like the way that it has set up, right? Boom, boom, boom. The three. So it makes me think like maybe I, like maybe Miss Marble is more like surface level kind of thing. Like let's say Earth, and then we have um, Brie Larson, who's more like you know space and shit. And then we have the top one where she's more like interdimensional or some shit like you that. You think though? Yeah, I think it's a possibility. I don't it's think like so. I thought Brie Larson was Captain Marvel was the strongest one. I'm not saying the strength. I'm saying like how their powers work out. Because mm. it's like, do you remember how she got her powers? Is whenever she went through that thing of like the 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 hex or whatever. Yeah. And then that's how her powers were, how she got her powers or how her powers were activated. So I wonder if that could play a thing and like how her powers work and shit, like where's interdimensional or like magic base or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I wonder uh, what the setting for this movie is gonna be and how it's gonna work out. Um, I think I definitely am excited to see um, uh, Miss Marvel on the big screen, and uh, as well as uh, you know, <clears throat> Rambo, Captain Marvel. Shout out Rambo, and uh, you know to see how different they're gonna look like on screen because obviously you know um Ca- uh, miss marvel's power is kind of like uh where she can like grow her body parts kind of like it's fantastic but not really 
Yeah, it wasn't like that fucking like the her gen powers. Yeah, and it's, I mean I understand why they did it because it's like it's too many fucking stretchy people at that point. Yeah, and then she can like sh- shape shift. Well, I think she has more like in the comics, whatever, more control, whatever bullshit. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's whatever. I don't know. It's just like it's like okay. I remember I was looking at the timeline. Right, we had that one coming out uh, November tenth. Right, mm-hmm. but then seven days before that, we have Dune Part Two. The more important movie to watch. The the movie of the year. The most movie. The movie I'm most excited for for this year. Really. Zendaya, Timothy Chalamet, uh, Jason Momoa, Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac died already. Nah. Yeah. He's coming back. Nah. But then Jason Momoa's actually coming back in the second in the second one, even though the he died. There's a lot of magic and shit. Oh, Lobo. He's coming back as Lobo. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's also uh, the one that plays uh, Thanos. In that as well, and then that movie is like peak cinema. It's like oh, I'm, I already knew it's gonna be the, my favorite movie of all time already. This is like Dune Part One. It was so incredible, and like it's such a amazing movie. And like I remember a couple weeks ago I rewatched it, and I was mm-hmm. like, this is peak cinema. So it's like November third, and so right after my birthday, so I know this is this is this is cinema. I'm gonna fucking wear it like I don't fucking know. I'm gonna wear it like all black. I don't know how cinephiles look, but like. <laughs> I'm gonna start snapping and shit. Like, I think they were. T- I think they tuck in their t-shirts. Fuck, I do that. <laughs> or like a modern day, it'll be like a big oversized t-shirt, like with lines and shit. And then they'll have like a little beanie, but then like the beanie doesn't go over their ears, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then they have like big glasses and like a mustache, and then the rest of the beard shaved off. Big oversized pants, and they're like. And they got platform they, shoes. Yeah, like the Doc Martens. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're fucking drinking like a little small cup of coffee that costs like $300. Espresso. But it's, <laughs> it's like peak coffee, though. It's like the peak coffee and shit. And then they always do like a minimalist, uh, min- minimalist, uh, like fucking like house tour and shit. All I need is a fucking chair in front of my thing. And like this is true cinema talking about like <laughs> some indie film from fucking like uh, that they saw at Sundance Festival, whatever the fuck it's called. For real? Yeah. And like it'll be like a born ass movie and just like and yeah. Is it gonna be I'm gonna turn into one of those guys after the movie? Yeah, we need to get you some Doc Martens. Yeah, yeah. I was actually like really low key thinking about getting some, but I was like, that is way too like I don't think they'd look good on me. I don't think they look good on anyone. Guys wise. Or people who um I don't know. But I just think they don't look good in general. And then like I see people they have to like run them over to break them in. Yeah. I'd rather just wear like some uh, dress boots or something. Yeah, or like you know the ones that I wear used to wear a lot of. The ones that he just absolutely tore up. I mean, they still they still wear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's the quality of a good shoe, I guess. And yeah, those I shoes right. I have like put through hell, like running through mud. Uh, I've Run been away from the, the cops. Yeah, a couple times, you know, stomped on a cop one time. Nah, I, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Believe the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> and then speaking of a little bit more of. MCU news or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. We also have Fantastic Four is rumored to start filming in early 2024. I love it. Yeah. But the question is, do they already have the cast for them? The big four? The big the big bad four, if you will? They've got to. There's no way. Yeah, it's already like to that point, right? Yeah, they're going to have Penn Bagley from uh, the U series on Netflix as Mr. Fantastic. They're going to have uh, me as the thing. They're going to have you as uh, Human Torch, and they're going to have uh, Danny as uh, Invisible Woman. Yeah, the cat's like, he's, he like disappears all the time and shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'd love to be, um, if you had to pick any, uh, like, superhero to play, who would you like to play? Or think that you could be cast as? Blue Beetle. Why Blue Beetle? Because I'm brown. <laughs> yeah. No, this we're very woke now, so it's like you can play anyone. You can play oh, a woman. Play though. anyone? I'll play yeah. Superman then. Yeah, you can play a woman too. Supergirl. Yeah, hit that home. Yeah. Yeah. With a skirt. <laughs> what was I say? I remember I said that a couple of weeks back because it was like, you know, the new Superman, and I told you Superman, you were like, nah, I don't want to get in shape like that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, and then think about it, you just got to eat broccoli, chicken, chicken, and white rice for years. A superhero with the dad bod that's OP. That's all we need. I mean, fucking look at Tony Stark. He was in incredible shape. But he has a suit, though. The suit carries yeah, him. Yeah, that's why. And, or the Hulk. 
the he CGI. transforms into the yeah. Hulk. Yeah, see, CGI. And then Hawkeye. No, Hawkeye looks like he's in good shape, I guess. But not like, like he's not like shirtless shape, you know? Mm-hmm. He always has a shirt on. Like if you say he's wearing long sleeve shirts, right? Who else is there? Uh, There's Chris Pratt. who's getting fat now. Again. Yeah, shout out getting fat. It's because it's cause he doesn't have to be good. It's because he dies in the next Guardians. That's why. Yeah. But even in the second one, do you remember they were saying like, yeah, bro, you got fat. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm joking. I don't think I don't think he dies. I mean, they showed in the trailer that they were carrying him, but I doubt he's dead. Oh no! In the when they were carrying him, like the rocket had like a little drink in his hand. Yeah. And he was just like sipping out like a straw. So I was like, that's that's pretty joking around. So mm-hmm. I don't think he died in that moment. Yeah. And then oh, and then Fantastic Four. You know what's his name? The one you were saying from you. Yeah. He has the thing where he didn't want to have any sex scenes in the last season of uh you. Because he said, like, out of respect, out of his, like, wife. That's valid. I think that also kind of ties into what the show, because I did start watching it again. And, uh, that's kind of uh, Yeah, funny. we had season four, part one, recently released. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, So, a girl that he was trying to get at, which is the librarian in the last season, mm-hmm. that uh, his wife kind of exposed him and said how crazy he was and stuff and scared her off. And she went to, uh, she went to Europe and he followed her there thinking he could get her back and then when he sees her at the market and she sees him he thinks it's going to be all fine and he thinks they're going to be able to talk and that she just runs away it it happens matt and like i'm pretty sure, like in his head i'm guessing he was thinking that thing where it's like it's going to be that magical thing where it's like oh shit like he came kind of thing and it turns out like oh shit get away I want to see you, but no, I think I'm just too far behind now. You could easily catch up. It's four seasons or three seasons to watch. It's just a lot of craziness, really. I remember I watched like the first episode, and I think the cringe just got to me way too quickly. It does get cringe. Yeah, so. and like, it makes me uncomfortable, you know, because I feel like I'm going to turn into that guy if I watch it too much. Yeah, you might. Yeah, or maybe I already am. Uh, maybe you're maybe you have someone locked in my basement right maybe now. Maybe you're already pinned Bagley. Yeah. I tr- uh, maybe it's actually based off of me. It's based off of you. Yeah, it actually is. And I think it's funny how you, like, well, the last world I seen him in was in Gossip Girl. And then, like, from that to this. And then isn't, uh, what's her name in the show, too? Uh, Jenny, Jen. Jenna Ortega? Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen her yet in season four, but apparently. Oh, not season four, but earlier seasons, right? I don't remember her character. (laughs) Yeah, because I remember I always see this clip where it was just, like, I was like, what, do you want to fuck me? And I was like, everyone wants to, wants to fuck the 16-year-old, and she's yelling and running off or whatever. I don't remember this. Yeah. She was like a neighbor or some shit like that. No, I don't know. Yeah. I want to watch it eventually, but let's see when I cross that bridge. I need to finish <laughs> all these other shows that I have started but have not finished, mm-hmm. which is like everything. Want. Yeah. Like, I have like so many shows on my backlog. I still have a fucking Lovecraft Country. I have New Girl, and I also have uh, Krypton that I just started. I'm on season, like, I'm on season one, but, like, episode maybe, like, three, whatever. Mm-hmm. And, like, Krypton is actually pretty fucking lit. I just need to get through it. And it's only two seasons. So that can be, like, an afternoon for me. And then Love Country, I'm, like, halfway through the season. Mm-hmm. And there's only one season, so that's easy work. But the New Girl, though, it's, like, seven seasons and, like, 20-something, 23 episodes per. Kind of falls off towards the end, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I'm on, like, season three or four now and like that's a lot of hours i haven't put it in oh yeah yeah well luckily the episodes aren't that long though yeah and then one show i have been watching a lot of like i've been i actually started rewatching it again which i shouldn't because i have all these other shows i need to watch Too woke. yeah which one woke alert uh we have the last kingdom one of my favorite shows of all time a netflix exclusive if you will or made by netflix or whatever and we have announcement of the last movie, Seven Kings Must Die, going to release on April 14th. I know you're really excited for this. You have to be because, I mean, you love The Last Kingdom. Yeah, and yeah. you just would not stop talking about it. you just like, John, 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 The Last Kingdom. Yeah. The Last Kingdom. I remember I had to, like, beg you to, have, like, let me do an episode that had, like, handcuff you because I was like, no, <laughs> this is my time to talk. I'm talking now. Fuzzy handcuffs. Yeah. Oh, duh. You know me. <laughs> And then I had to hang up your balls too and shit, you know. She damn, you know how it goes. And that <laughs> show, it's it's incredible because I remember the last time, the last 
season that came out, I benched it in the day. Because I was like, I remember it came out of nowhere to me. I didn't know it was releasing. I saw a release, and I was like, okay, this goes my whole afternoon now. This yeah. is my rest of my day. Next day, like, I think I worked the next day, and then I didn't sleep the whole night because I was like, I'm finishing this. This is and did you? Get, yeah, of course. You know me. I always you finish. Went to work. I always finish. <laughs> and you went to work like that? Yeah, dead as fuck. But I was like, it was worth it though. <laughs> it was worth it. Come on. And like, Seven Kings Must Die. Like, even look at the name of it. Seven Kings Must Die. Mm-hmm. That is such a hard ass name too. Um, he's not dead, right? At the end of the show. Uh, Uhtred? Nah, nah. I mean, like Uhtred's like. <laughs> His plot armor, it's like ridiculous. Yeah, and like, but that's the fun part of it because it's like it's very like gritty, like serious, whatever. But like, he has his plot armor. It's so fucking unreal. <laughs> like he's that character where like when the people hear him, like they like they tremble at at the sound of his name, kind of thing, and like they fall to him easily, and like he like. He murks every fucking person, right? And all the women want him kind of thing, you know? It's yeah. like nonstop pussy, just fucking waterfall and everything <laughs> like that. Just this nonstop, every woman wants him kind of thing. And, yeah, <laughs> it's incredible. And I think the next one, because Seven Kings Must Die, and it's going to be about the one of the king's son or, like, his pretty much Uhtred's adopted kind of son thing. Uhtred is a... The English king or the Danish king? Uh, he's not a king at all. De- Uhtred is not a king. Oh, what is what is he? Uh, he is a lord of uh, Bebenburg. And, uh, well, he was a British or England, whatever, right? His family got, the town got raided by the Danish, whatever, right? The um, the Danes, if you will. And he was raised as, as a Dane, right? And then, like, his adopted father fucking ended up uh dying or whatever right they got mm-hmm. raided by another thing and they blamed it on him so he was like fuck now the danes don't fuck with me now i need to go to england and then he goes to england right and then he fucked with the king and he was like yeah let, let me help you and so then he like you know helps him a couple battles here and there battles there and there and then you know over time he gets more and more like respect yeah. yeah oh yeah that's actually a big thing that has like reputation is all he has a weird <laughs> accent it's like it sounds indian <laughs> um, he has a big reputation and he's like you know like swinging this big dick around everywhere you know like he's like Uhtred like he he kills everyone in battles and shit mm-hmm. and he kills the trustee of the king and like he's big and then he wants to go back to his his motherland if you will like Bebenburg is the fort whatever and then at the la- end of the last one he gets the fort back and like he brings his kids with him and it's like a whole thing now and it's incredible it's peak it's peak TV. It's sending six to me. It's an incredible series. And it's very like hurrah kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But enough of that though. Not John. John, 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 John. 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 Gin and talk. What have you been up to? <clears throat> so I've been on that grind on Elden Ring. And, uh, damn, John the Gamer. John the Gamer. And, uh, also Tekken. I played in a tournament yesterday. Uh, I actually did pretty decent. I actually took out this guy who was, uh, who's better than me. And, uh, you said it's for losing, so you're better. You're yeah. the best. You're the king. Exactly. And, uh, and, uh, I got a game off this other guy who was, like, really good. And, uh, almost, almost was able to beat him, but, uh, I come a long way in this, and it's been a grind, and uh, just uh, proud of myself for that. And besides that, I have been watching uh, the '90s show, uh, you, as I mentioned before. Yeah. Have you finished the '90s show yet? No, I haven't. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And I was also watching. Well, mm-hmm. I don't think I don't think I, I don't th- at, the, at the top of my head I can't really think of. Uh, That's already a lot to watch, watch, though. And then if you've been grinding on the game and shit, too, because I know Eldering, like, do you think you're going to pass that learning curve now? Yeah, it's still tough, though. No, I figure. I just got this cool katana. Ooh, katana? Yeah. Cool. One day I'll start playing it. Um, this is one thing I just wrote in my miscellaneous notes. Jason Momoa reposted the Flash trailer, and he was, like, so excited for this movie. Love you, Ezra. 
I bet nobody liked that. No, everyone. Of course, you know. Ez, come on, Ezra Miller's a legend. Come on. <laughs> I'm just saying. It just like it just makes me think though. It's like, what do people that know actually like know him think of yeah. him? Or maybe the fucking these, the studios made him post it or whatever. Who knows? But he didn't have to say like "I love you," you know, kind of thing. I'm so sorry. And then no, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. And then from the seven ninety show, like, would you say? Do you think it holds up? I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I hear other people like have said like the show does not hold up and like it's not worth it compared to like that seventy show. See, this is a this is the I'm talking my hands on. This is the issue, right? So you have people who actually appreciate a good show, right? Yeah, couldn't like be me. me. Couldn't be me. Like me, I appreciate I, sh- I appreciate good content. Mm-hmm. And you have the haters who will hate watch, and I'm saying this as. Well, I don't even hate watch. If I don't want to watch something, I don't watch it. So it'll be all people who have hate who hate watch, and people who aren't even fans of the original '70s show who have never seen it, so they wouldn't understand. They're just bums, and that's all I have to say about that. They're bums. They're bums. And speaking of hate watching, I finished Velma season one. Yeah, you're not hate watching that. You like it. Though. Yeah, it's but the ending was fucking weak though. I will say that though. It's a completely done no more seasons uh well it's rumored that season two is in the works right okay now. but season one though it ended up being freddie i can't remember if i talked about this or not what freddie is pregnant with scooby yeah it happens uh freddie's mom is the killer and then like the ending it just got like i remember when i was writing it down like i, I tried to read through my notes but then it was like so confusing to me because i knew what i meant but whatever <laughs> they like they rip off like nope where they try to like switch brains with switch brains and bodies and shit and yep. freddie's mom wanted to do this right the whole big thing where like the whole story came down to it she wanted to kill no she wanted to swap freddie's brain in with a girl because freddie's like a little dumb dumb kid right yeah and the her thinking was like i need someone strong like me and it has to be a girl a, like that's the only way it will it'll be able to carry on our company name kind of thing it has to be a, a strong woman girl and I thought that was just so fucking, like, it's very on the nose, you know, on the wokeness kind of thing. I understand so woke, but then it's, like, the whole plot line lands on being this woke, you know? So she was trying to put Freddy's brain into a woman's body? Or, no, I'm sorry, put a girl's brain into Freddy's body. Oh, okay. Because she thought, like, that's the only way that will be able to, like, succeed in life or whatever. That's interesting. Yeah, and it was just like, uh, I guess, whatever. And then some other shit. Let me just take a quick gander at my notes on this oh and then they did a vax joke there too which i was just like eh, i wasn't like I, I i'm a i like a good vax joke every, every now and then you know shout yeah. out vax shout out you know like pfizer <laughs> shaking shout out pfizer right thank you pfizer thank you pfizer <laughs> and like it had like a really bad vax joke and then let me see um and then i went the whole brain swapping out thing i was like rip off of get out come on yeah and then i think they ripped off Everything I I put I, I don't remember exact scenes, but I said ripped off Batman Begins, ripped off uh, Get Out, ripped off The Weekend, ripped off Friends. Almost like a man joke. Oh yeah, and ends on a man joke, like a man joke or something like that. I can't remember, but like it was like the, I guess the last episode was super woke, but it was overall it was okay. You know, eh, meh, if you will, meh. Yeah. Okay. And then other thing I've been watching Lovecraft. Lovecraft Country. Shout yeah. out Lovecraft. Shout out Jonathan Majors. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend. Super bo- uh, super buff. Buff as fuck, if you will. Yeah. And what else? Yeah, we're going to see... We're going to see... Uh, we're actually going to see uh, Kang Jedi fight King. Killmonger in the next Creed movie. Yeah. And then who do you think is going to win in that? Uh, Killmonger's got it. Me. Valid. Me. Of course, it's going to be me. And then, Speaking of fights, uh, did you actually see that uh, Ryan Garcia finally t- accepted the tank fight? We're on the schedule? Um, they're going to fight in April. Uh, no one cares. The and big fight in April, though. You already know. Though. Who's who's fighting? Me. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we have Virgil, Virgil Ortiz Jr. The man, the myth, the, the legend, legend, the goat, the our Superman. goat, our goat, the only, the one and only. Um, set to fight. Um, uh, I forgot who, but he's like a champion and uh in Europe. He's like uh, Europe. He's, he's like a hardcore like uh boxer. So it's gonna be a good fight for sure. Uh, but you already know our boys got it. Yeah, the dub season, dub season. And then he's in fight in April sometime there, and then he's fighting at the 
UTA something. Yeah, somewhere in Texas. I don't know. Arlington, I believe. Never heard of it. Yeah, no, I wouldn't know. Yeah, me Even either. though the Cowboys play there, but I wouldn't know about it. The Arlington Cowboys. The Arlington um, Renegades. <laughs> they actually, I think they won their first game, and, like, I want to go to one of their games. Oh, the XFL, right? Yeah, yeah. I want to go to one of their games, but, like, I remember they were saying, like, um, one game, one dub or whatever, right? Yeah. And then they, like, it's a football players on the floor, right? And then, like, they do, like, a circle around, and fucking stands are fucking empty. It, I feel like it will eventually. Yeah. But for now, it's not going to be that. And then I give them props, though, because it's something new and everything. Yeah. And doesn't, then, doesn't The Rock own it? Uh, He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like one of the part owners. and Because it's like the WWE owned it at first. So he played a football player on a movie, and he thinks he knows everything about football now. Oh, yeah. And then he played. Now, he played multiple ones. Remember, well, he was a coach one time in the, <laughs> I think, the Iron Grid, I want to say. Yeah. Man, fuck, fuck The Rock. No, I'm kidding. The Pebble. <laughs> the Pebble. Yeah. And then... I just have this written in my notes. Woke. Yeah. Everything's true. just woke nowadays. Very you just true. can't get out of it. Even this podcast is super woke. Yeah. Would you say we're woke? Nah. I feel like we're just uh I just open care. minded to like every aspect of anything in a conversation. Yeah. I remember in high school I think I was like super woke, whatever, right? As like a lot of young kids. Yeah, are. you're a tree hugger. I was. I was making out trees, putting my dick in a tree. <laughs> and then um <laughs> Oh my god, do what you gotta do. I yeah. asked a tree to prom. And uh like I think when I was in high school I was like super woke and then I, I remember like we're certain things happening, whatever, right? I was like, man, the world is horrible, whatever, right? And then mm-hmm. I, I did this, right? Cause I was so stressed out all the time because of it. I was like, hey, let me try this. Let me try this. Just take a step back, right? And like let's say if, if I didn't get any news from like politics, right? If I didn't get any of that, right? How's my life going? And I was like, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and so then after that, I stopped watching the news because I was like, it's like, to me, it doesn't like directly really that affect me, even though it's important, whatever. But it's like, what am I going to do? You're part of the problem. Yeah. Just, just like Cassie said in the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Dad, just because it's not happening to you doesn't mean it's not happening. I don't care. I know, right? That's what I would have said. I'm like, all right, we're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> and it's like oh, with Ant Man, right? It's like okay, I helped save everyone in the fucking galaxy, right? In yeah. The whole universe, right? And that's not enough. Now I still have to continue. Like, <laughs> I still have to continue to go. Like, when is enough going to be enough for me? Come on! It never stops. Yeah, and that's the stressful part. But that's why it's like it's too much. And like, look at Ant Man. No, look at fucking Iron Man, right? Take a little nap and shit, right? Boom. One and done. Dies, right? <laughs> and then we have fucking uh, Captain America, right? Where yeah. it was his ass whenever it came time to fucking, you know, like help rebuild the the fucking planet with all the new people coming in. Where was he? No way. He, he wanted to go fuck. He's getting some coochie. Yeah. And then so he ran off, whatever, right? And then most of the heroes have to shoot. But no, no, no. The, the smallest guy, the most insignificant guy in it who actually gave them the idea to do the time travel shit. Now he has to, you know, like step it up to the plate. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's too much work. That's stressful. Really? Yeah, that's like, I think maybe that's how the, the studios feel, right? Yeah. We came out with one of the greatest movies of all time. Peak fucking box office. Number two in the box of, office of all time or whatever, right? Endgame. And now you want me to do it again and again and again and again? Endgame three. End game four. <laughs> that, no, no, trust me. This is the NES game. The, the gamiest of the end. This is the prologue of the end game. <laughs> yes, the game's already over. <laughs> I remember uh, whenever I heard the, the title for Avengers, I just thought of uh, the Taylor Swift song, End Game. Never heard of it. It's a great song. It's a, it's a pop. It's a pop. It's a pop. Yeah, it has a feature in it, too. Cool. Yeah, it's a weird combination. And now, it's been a pop. It has most definitely been a pod. Has it been a pod? It's definitely been a pod. Yeah. Thank you very much for listening to this episode of the It's What We Do podcast. We're Hen and John. John. Yeah, there's John. If you didn't catch it, if you didn't, if you don't hear it, because I had his mic off the whole time. And we could, uh, yeah, we're on every uh, platforming thingy with uh, for podcasting. We're also on YouTube as well, on Instagram, Twitter, Gmail. It's What We Do Pond. Exactly. Uh, feel free to 
uh drop a rating uh drop drop a comment down below you know hit the subscribe button drop a like hit the notification bell you know so you don't miss when we post you demanding our a lot about these people amazing beautiful content that we create why do you why do you have to why do you demand so many things you're acting like you're like king the conqueror giving all all these demands just what i do as well and that's what we do it's what we do baby thank you good night big kisses good job what bam what bam